welcome. My name is Fabio Cortesi and I'm currently situated on the beautiful beach at Lizard Island on the Northern Great Barrier Reef um, in Australia. So the reason we're up here is that um, my colleagues and I are interested in, in, in the diversity on coral reefs. Basically what we're interested in is, is in the colors. So um, if you go out and you look at the coral reef, the first thing you might notice is that there is obviously there's a lot of differently colored coral, but there's also a lot of differently colored organisms mainly fish. What we're interested in is to know why there's so many different colored fish, why there's so many species and how they interact with one another. So in this particular study we did up here we were interested in in a, in a small predatory fish uh, called the dusky dodiback. Um, so the dusky dodiback is quite special because it's got a lot of different color morphs. Up here they occur in, in a yellow coloration and in a brown one and They've been known to impact um, the reef quite a bit. They can eat actually up to 20 fish a day, which is, which is quite a lot for a, for a fish about this size. One of the reasons we looked at it was to investigate how they can be so successful and what tactics they would employ to, to deceive their prey at the end of the day. And um, it was suggested a while ago by some colleagues of us that um, these fish co-occur with similarly colored uh, harmless fish, like the parents mostly, and the idea was that the different colored dotty backs would imitate this parental fish and then could sneak up on the juveniles and then eat them. Um, however, if, if that's the case, the juvenile fish population after a while should learn about what's their parent and what the predator is and, and it shouldn't work for too long. So one of the ideas was that maybe these fish actually are able to change colors. So in order to investigate that, we did a, a few, quite a few different experiments. And we started out by building patch reefs. So we built up these little artificial reefs uh, that were comprising mainly live coral or, or were made out of coral rubble. And then we transplanted um, the parental fish on there. So we either put yellow or brown fish on there and then we took the dotty bags, either a yellow or brown one, and put it on there and left them on there and looked whether they would be able to change color or not. And what we found is that after about two to three weeks, these uh, dotty bags would start to change color and imitate the coloration of the local fish population. So that was a really good indication showing us that um, these fish probably mimic these adult fish. And, and the reason could be that because they mimic them, they might be able to sneak up on their juveniles and eat them. So in order to test them, that we took them back to the lab and we built a mini reef in the lab, actually in the aquaria, and then put the parental, the adult fish on it, and then put juvenile fish in it, and then put either a yellow or brown body back in. And we looked at whether when the dotty back and the parental fish would match in color, whether they would be more successful at feeding on the juveniles uh, than when they were mismatched. And we did that over and over and over again. And um, after a while, we saw that this was really happening. So when fish were matching, when body bags were matching the adult fish, uh, they would be much, much more successful at feeding on the juvenile fish. In fact, up to three times as successful. So the effects, huge. And it's very similar to what, what's known to us as the wolves in a sheep's clothes scenario where the wolf dresses up in a sheep's clothes and can go into a herd of sheep and then slowly pick away at one sheep up to the other. Um, except that in this case the dotty back actually is able to also change color. So while the wolf after a while might be detected by either the shepherd or the herd, the dotty back is actually quite safe from detection by either the juveniles or even the adults because it changes color and then they have to re relearn it. little predatory fish called uh, the dusky dollyback. Oh, cool, a reef shark just beached oh, itself. Wow. <laughs> 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 <That's awesome. laughs> Alright. That was a turtle as well, it's action today on the beach. <laughs> I'm like, oh turtle, oh shark.